KBT Action 7 News. Speed cameras making their return to Albuquerque soon. Ten will be here. Now, if one spots you going too fast, you're going to get a ticket in the mail. But tonight in a new Target 7 investigation, John Cardinelli discovered taxpayers could be on the hook to pay to keep the program going if there are not enough speeders. This isn't the first time the city of Albuquerque has tried speed enforcement cameras. This intersection at San Mateo and Montgomery had the first speed camera back in 2004. And it was a um, departure from tr uh, traditional traffic enforcement requiring uh, a uniformed on-duty officer in a marked police unit uh, issuing citations. That program lasted seven years. In that time, it came under harsh criticism for bringing in millions of dollars to help balance the city's budget. That was before voters passed this referendum that would ultimately end it. It was basically an ATM for the city of Albuquerque at the time. Nick Bacchus and Darren White were both public safety directors who oversaw the program for the city. They say there's not much difference between the program they oversaw and the one that is going to start issuing warnings on April 25th. When I saw that the city was, um, you know, was bringing back the cameras, I laughed. I, I really did uh, because he, I just figured it would be a matter of time. It was done for the right reasons and continues to be done for the right reasons. The original program also targeted red light running and used mobile speed vans. The new program does not. These are not vans. These are uh, camera systems that are small and compact. You may or may not notice them. In the first 28 months of the original program, it brought in $5 million. Target 7 looked at the numbers, and the new program the city is starting could cost taxpayers money if there aren't enough speeders. We plan for it to break even. We at sat down with Kevin Suraso. He's an accountant and the city official who put the program together. We went through all of the expenses and how much money the fees would bring in. He expects each one of their speeding cameras will ticket 800 motorists per month. If it does, and after all of the bills are paid, it will generate about 2.3 million per year. At the end of the day, if there is any additional funding left over after we pay the expenses and the costs, that will sit in a special fund for the Vision Zero program. That program was started by Mayor Tim Keller to have zero traffic fatalities by 2040. Last year we took 85 fatal crashes in the city of Albuquerque. But what if the cameras don't take at the number of speeders the city estimates? Target 7 pulled up this study from 12 years ago. White commissioned the report to help determine if the city should keep the program. According to the report, each of the city's 20 cameras issued on average about 102 citations a month. If history repeats itself, that would mean taxpayers would be on the hook for about $890,000 per year. The city doesn't see that as a concern. We're actually a little more concerned that we might maximize or max out our capacity to write citations or to send citations. So how is the city making so much money nearly two decades ago? The original program started by Mayor Chavez charged speeders and red light runners as much as $400 per citation, depending on how many times drivers got one and how fast they were going. The cameras were set up at these 20 intersections. In the first 28 months, it brought in $5.8 million, and the city came under fire in the Albuquerque Journal editorial pages. You had uh, theories that uh, the traffic engineer was uh, manipulating the the yellow light cycle and reducing it in order to generate uh, more income for, for the city. But truthfully, uh, none of that w was any truth. The money stream stopped when the state legislature passed a series of bills capping a citation at $100 and forcing cities to pay state courts $33 for every citation. White was in charge of the program when it ended. It had more to do with the money going into uh, uh, the state coffer or the city coffers uh, than it did about uh, reducing uh, crashes. There's no reason that a family should go through this. Erica Chavez's family wishes the program never went away. She was killed in 2020 when a car driving 120 miles per hour hit her. She died in front of her child. I just hope that, you know, this definitely helps, you know, save somebody's life. For Target 7, I'm John Cardinelli. City officials tell us that under the terms of their contract with the vendor that supplies the camera equipment, they can only issue 800 citations per month per month.